some of us are still waiting for the day we will have time to go and sit down and do one full course that takes one week before we learn escape. We are going to look at uh, leveraging technology for career excellence. What an opportunity to, to be here today to learn. I have learned a lot of things. You could see how I was jotting down things. In fact, if um, Flem had charged us, I would have failed to get it. Because there's so much to learn. And I thank you all for making our time to be here. I also thank Oji for creating this platform where everybody would, uh, would learn. So let's get started. We are going to look at um, leveraging technology for career excellence. That's the, the topic. And we are going to look at this topic from two perspectives. The first is personal development, which we've mentioned here, and that's the fundamental, and that's why we're going to start with that. If you could summarize in one phrase what drives career excellence, it is personal development. That phrase would be what? Personal development. And what is personal development? Personal development is the conscious pursuit of self-growth. The conscious pursuit of self-growth. What a good note to take if you can. By expanding self-awareness and knowledge and improving your personal what? Skills. The reason personal development is critical is that if you do not increase your value by developing yourself, you're not going to earn, you're not going to increase your income. What you earn or what you become is proportional to the value that you put to yourself. In fact, as Jim Rohn said in one of his presentations, he said, your income cannot exceed personal development. If you look back some years back, when you just um, graduated from school, you could estimate the level of your skills and what you earn then. Then check what you earn today and also look at the level of your skills. That is what personal development does. So if you stop developing yourself, if you stop adding value to yourself, you have inadvertently stopped increasing your chances of career success. So personal development is critical. But before we move on, I would like to talk about what personal development is not, so that we don't mix things up. Personal development is not accumulation of certificates. Neither is it accumulation of certification and qualifications. As I said before, it is a conscious pursuit of self-growth. And how does it start? When you are doing personal development, the first thing to do is to identify an area of weakness in your skills. Each one of us here, we know where we are lacking. Oh, I'm not good at public speaking. And this is critical to my career success, so I will need to get training on that. I want to go into event management. Do I know anything about that? Oh no, I need to develop myself in that direction. I need to go into finance, I need accounting skills, I don't know it, I need to develop myself. So it starts with what? The awareness that you're lacking in a particular area. Once you identify that, what do you do then? You now do what? You strive continuously and consciously to improve your skills in that direction. So it is this striving, why you're striving to improve your skills, that is where technology comes in. What technology will do for you in that aspect is that it makes things what easier. Some of us are still waiting for the day we will have time to go and sit down and do one full course that takes one week before we learn escape. We are waiting for that period we will get leave from our offices so that we will go and do training. We are waiting for the opportunity to go and meet people, which is good. We are waiting for the time to go sit down in a traditional classroom and have lunch. 
and breakout sessions before we learn. But there are alternatives. Most of the things that we want to learn, we can learn with the aid of technology more conveniently. So, while we strive to develop ourselves, which is the fundamental, we need to now look at technologies. And we're going to look at this in three aspects. The first is e-learning. E-learning is coming to terms gradually in our organizations and on individual basis. Most organizations now um, put their staff through e-learning. You don't need to go out and sit down somewhere and take a full course. You can stream these courses 24 hours anytime from anywhere you are. It is not exactly like the traditional classroom learning. We all know. But it is what? More convenient, and most times it is what? More affordable. Some of us have started some courses online which we have not finished due to lack of discipline, I'm sure. But we can go back and complete those courses. The most important thing about learning is that when the hunger is there, that's why we started from the fundamentals of personal development. If we are eager to develop ourselves, we will go the extra mile to adopt whatever it takes in order to learn the skills that we want to learn. So, technology for personal development, which is the first thing we are looking at. E-learning is one. Go online, look for courses that you want, pay for these courses, and enroll online and take these courses. As scary as it may be for some people, because some people say, oh, I don't like learning online, I want to sit in a classroom. But you may wait forever for that opportunity to come before you learn that skill. So why don't you start with what you can do? You go online, you enroll for some courses, then you gather the skills. And another opportunity, you can also continue to learn that same skill. The second one is books. We know how Lagos is and how busy our schedules are. When will it be convenient for you to finish a whole book and then read another one? Read another one. When there's traffic, when you go home late, Sometimes, so we have to look at the audio books. Audio books go online, and then you can look at audiobooks.com. Most of the books that you would want to read are already translated into audio format. Put them on your phone, put them in your car, and then as you drive, as you are in traffic, you are reading. So with audio books, you can cover books faster. There are advantages in reading books as they are, but when you cannot, because of tight schedule, it's recommended that you go for audio books. The next one is that you go to YouTube, you find a lot of information. Free. Get onto YouTube and look for whatever you want to learn, and you can get those things downloaded to your phone. You may not have to stream those things live. You can put them on your phone and go back to them anytime you want. You can go to tubemate.com. That will help you download anything on YouTube from YouTube. Tubemate.com. Tube. T-U-B-E. Mate. M-A-T-E. One word. Dot com. It's a very nice app that will save you data. So with these three methods, you can use technology to work on your personal development. That is one way to apply technology. Because we have seen the importance of personal development in career advancement and our career success. So instead of waiting forever for the convenient time to come, we can adopt technology in this manner and use them to update our skills. There are so many um, platforms where you can do online courses, professional courses as well as um, personal courses. You have udemy.com, very popular. U-D-E-M-Y.com. You have learnsmart.ng, learnsmart.ng. This one is Nigerian, so you pay in Naira, you download any course that you want. Most courses are there.
So these are the tools that you can leverage to help your personal development. But as I said earlier, the most important thing is to have, for you to have the hunger to develop yourself because technology in itself is nothing. It is only when we apply technology to a particular need that we get the benefits. That's why we started with the importance of personal development. The second perspective that we're going to look at under this topic is what I would call blended expertise. Blended expertise. Sometime last year, while at the airport, I ran into a, an, an old friend of mine, and we are chatting. He works in one of the big multinationals. So while we are talking, he said, please, Nkem, I need help. Do you know where I can find an accountant who is heavy in IT? This will help us understand what I mean by blended expertise. An accountant who is heavy in what? IT. That opportunity is still there if you are qualified. <laughs> Nobody. So I, I told him, ah, how can you be looking for this kind of skill set? You are looking for a purple spirit. It's difficult to find. He said, but that's what we need. If we, if we find that person today, we'll hire the person. So what am I trying to say? Blended expertise means that in addition to your core area of competence, the subject matter, you need to understand how to apply technology in that industry. The first one is to use technology to develop yourself. The second one is, if I'm an accountant, what is the latest accounting tool? Am I conversant with that tool? If I'm an architect looking for a job, do I know the best tool that we can use to design apart from manual? Whatever your profession is, there is a tool somewhere, technology tool, that people are taking advantage of to compete. Even that position that you want to get to, there must be a tool that you can take advantage of. If you learn about those tools, it can make you more competitive in the market. So blended expertise is what the industry is turning into. Over time, we will no longer need an accountant who just knows how to look at books, but an accountant who understands ERP, who understands speech tree. Apalavi said he helped an organization work on their speech tree and all those. You need blended expertise. Apart from your core skill, what technology drives your industry? How conversant are you with those technologies? If you do these things and position yourself well, you would attract success. And that success will lead to career excellence. The truth is that every day, I have a lot of my colleagues who are recruiters. They search for people, they look for people who are competent. You see them on LinkedIn, scavenging LinkedIn, looking for people. People are looking for you. But only when you are what? Ready. You do not pursue success. Don't pay so much attention looking for that job. Divert the attention to developing yourself, then you can attract what? Success. They are looking for you. You don't need for them if you have not prepared yourself, if you are not ready. Develop yourself personally. Get the tools that are very, that, that are very, very um, strategic in your industry. Master these things and you position yourself right for the market. Even in the entrepreneurial world, People who do exceptionally well also adopt the use of technology. I have a friend of mine who is a structural engineer who has analyzed some of the best buildings in Lagos. In one obscure office in Ilubeju, people look for him every day. Even Julius Berger, they come to his office. And I said, ah, okay, how come these people are always coming here? He said, okay, I am up to, up to date with my skills. Every time he's looking for how to pay for one software or another from the US, he uses those things to do his job. And if you see his job, very excellent jobs. <clears throat> because he has adopted the right mindset of developing himself, not just himself, but also developing his competence in technology in his industry. So two things that we'll take away today. If 
I put this my presentation together. First, is that personal development is critical. You cannot earn more than your level of personal development. Your income cannot increase beyond the level of your skills. There is no shortcut. The only sustainable way to success, to career excellence, is personal development. You can use technology to make your personal development more convenient and more efficient. The second one is that you need to get blended skills, blended expertise. Whatever your industry is, please look for that tool that will make you differentiate yourself in that industry. Are you an accountant? Get that software and master it. If you're an architect, if you're a HR person, what about that new technology that is being used now in that industry? Can you use that technology? Are you competent enough to use that technology? Get these two things together, then you'll be leveraging technology for career excellence. Thank you very much. For that.